Hello and welcome back to Robbie's Arcade and today I want to talk about the man that can do whatever a spider can. I'm of course talking about Peter Parker or more precisely I'm talking about the Spider-Man, not Bill Spider-Man. Now this was one of the earliest arcade representations of the spider chum and in this, ca in this game this is one of the few games of the 90s where spider-man and indeed a marvel license appeared not under the capcom heading this is one of sega's first early grabs of a marvel license there were other games a wolverine game i believe the captain america game might even have been sega but i'd have to double check that but this is spider-man the arcade no spider-man the video game the arcade etc etc now one of the earliest things about this that really struck me because i've never seen this arcade before and i've seen them all but i've never seen this arcade out there in the wild now one of the things that really struck me about it is it is a four player co-op game now i've already mentioned on the channel several times that four player co-op games during that time period were incredibly rare most developers didn't even want to invest in that kind of thing one because cooperative games generally people put less money into them and two the construction and the work the r&d that goes into it is enormous you have quite a few two player or even three player walk along beat em ups on cooperative games but almost no four players and up until i played uh, um, the simpsons arcade game and teenage mutant ninja turtles i thought there were none other than gauntlet and then this was recommended by another earth uh, youtuber there and i had to check it out because i'll be honest this game just by the look of it alone is quite a mixed bag it's got different levels an incredibly bizarre lineup Hawkeye, who is Namor, and Black Cat and Spidey. Now, there's a, you know, the Spider-Man universe does have quite a lot of people they could have picked. They could have gone for Daredevil. They could have gone um, for the Punisher. These are people that are featured quite heavily in the Spider-Man universe. But they've gone with these four characters, God knows why. And moreover, this game has some incredible villains. This game is almost worth playing just for the villains and the bosses, just because it's an incredible lineup. But I've been talking for long enough. We'll bung some trivia on later in the video. But for now, let's start playing Spider-Man, the video game, the arcade. I think we know who I'm going to play. Let's be honest. Who have we got up there? We have got Hawkeye. We have got Spider-Man, if I can get the arrow right. Black Cat, brilliant. Who the hell is Submariner? I have no idea who that is. Is that just some rip-off of Aquaman? Let's just get straight into Spider-Man. So here we go. Spider sense tingling. Unbelievable. There's a lot of verbal in this. Okay, there's Scorpion. Okay, this is a two-button game. It should be mentioned that is, even though this is a two-button game, we have punch and jump, but also we have um, a spider move. I'm not entirely certain how I pulled off the web swing. Oof! The guy with the poles getting on my nerves. Okay, so we've got standard punch kick behaviour there. Still haven't quite worked out how I'm pulling off that spider swing, but the spider web it's relatively easy to pull off by pressing both the A and B buttons together. However, I've already noticed that that took my health off. And also, has anyone else noticed something quite alarming about my health? Wait until we've killed these enemies and see if you've spied it. These enemies are incredibly disappointing. Okay, so we have... We have the scorpion. But straight away, I've noticed that my health is depleting without me being hit. Is this meant to be some alternative to... Oh, there we go. We have Venom. He came in early. Okay, let's have a look. What's Venom got to say for himself? Now, I can't tell if this is based on the comics or the um, animation that I personally watched uh, here uh, in Britain quite a number of years ago. Venom, I believe, was supposed to be immune to the web, to be honest. I thought that was one of the big things about him having the symbiote spider suit. But, I'll be honest, I hope he appears again, because right now I'm making mincemeat of the bugger. There you go, Venom, he's gone. 
and he had some sort of weird tablet thing. And, okay, now he's massive. Okay. So the game has now changed. Now we have got an up, upward scaling platform again. And apparently now I'm allowed to have as much bloody web as I like. Make your mind up, Spider-Man. This is not a bad game, to be honest. I can imagine in four player, this is actually surprisingly fun. It almost makes me want to get a team together. Um, if in the near future anyone wants to team up for some four players for a future video, it could be quite nice to see which is the best four player co-op game. Okay, there's my cohort there. Things are not going too well here. Okay, so at least we've got ceiling climbing and a giant venom. Okay, so we've killed venom, I believe. Going up as quickly as we can. Let's have a look. Okay, apparently you can still hit me. I'm noticing a number of build floors here. Let's see if I can kill this guy before he gets in close proximity. Alright, have we finally killed Venom? And whatever it is that he's supposed to be collecting here. Okay, we're jumping up. And we are on whatever this vehicle is. Okay, so we've progressed to the next area. And we're back into the close-up mode. But you know what, let's talk some trivia, shall we? Because I'll be honest, I'm quite enjoying this game. One, it does seem to commit to um, the stylization in the color schemes you expect from the comic books. And once again, I would like to know how cl whether this is closely designed on the cartoon or just the comic books. It's quite an interesting point. But the game itself does, to me, stand up. It does look good. I would go as far as to say it's moderately playable. Um, now, the game itself, once again, was released in 1991. It was released uh, by Sega, via their Sega System 32 arcade system. Uh, an on a ongoing development cycle of an arcade machine, which was stood in the future to have some incredible uh, games to be released on it. And that System 32 system was only going to get bigger and better. Um, now, the game itself did give you um, that f quite a lot of health, as you saw at the bottom there. Quite a lot of health for a walk on beam up That was quite good. However, straight away, the fact that that health degenerates over time makes no sense. I don't know if it's like spider leukemia. I have no idea. But I think it's largely as an alternative to a clock counting down. But there's still no denying it. That feels very cheap. Now, I'm used to games giving me a countdown. I'm used to that and giving you a time with which to complete a level. But I think it's particularly mean of Sega to create a game whereby your energy is going to deplete. Look at it there. It doesn't, re it doesn't recharge between levels and stages. So I'm de I'm, I have no choice but to enter more money in the arcades. And to me, that is an open-ended slap in the face to the coin-op player of the 90s. Um, on top of that, the game was divided into four acts, which had a multitude of tier one Spider-Man bosses. It featured Spider-Man, I'm sorry, Spider-Man, stupid. It had Kingpin, Venom, Dr. Octopus, Electro, Lizard, Scorpion, The Sandman, Green Goblin, Hobgoblin, and Dr. Doom, and him of Fantastic Four fame. Now, and one of the other nice little neat features here is on the end of the game, when you have to put in your high score when you've lost, it actually differentiated between players. So if you played a Spider-Man, but you got a, high, a higher score than someone who played Black Cat, it didn't matter because scores were differentiated between the player you played, which is quite a nice touch, I thought, because that way you couldn't be... If there was one character more powerful than all the others, it didn't guarantee that you held the top place over everyone else. Now, in January 1992, the popular video game magazine Computer Video Games, or CVG, and I'll be honest, they have done some questionable reviews in the past, I've mentioned them before, gave this game an insane amount of positive feedback, which was early on almost put me off this game because CVG was so kind to it. Um, 
being a, a positive review praising the four player split element with incredible graphics and huge beautifully animated sprites, uh, sprites with an impressive zoom in and zoom out feature. It was enough to keep pump you pumping the credits. I beg to bloody differ. I think one of the main reasons you were pumping the credits is your chuffing energy was going downhill. And I think again, that is a, that is a bloody liberty to be honest. But that's enough trivia and I'll be honest, I may be getting my own personal feelings biased about the idea of playing a game with your health degenerate. But let's get back in to the game. These enemies, I'll be honest, of all the things I'm liking about this game so far, the thing I like the least are these enemies. They are really faceless. I mean, they make the foot soldiers in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles look unique. Not only are they faceless, and I don't remember seeing them in any comic, to be honest, but they they haven't even gone to the trouble of really redesigning a great deal here. They just look identical in almost every way. Changing the palette is, oh, no, wait, I take it back. We have a new character. Shouldn't really, let's see what happens if my health degenerates to nothing. So at least the game doesn't expect me to Oh, actually, it is going to let me use that super. It's letting me use that super, even though I have one unit of health. Is this game going to let me cheap out? I'll be honest. I almost take it back now. Oh, Spider-Man's down. Well, do you know what? I think we can afford to pop another credit in this bad boy. But this time, you know, one for the ladies. Let's give Black Cat a whirl. Okay, this guy just slapped a woman in the face. Mind you, equality, I guess. Who knows? She's already lacking the fluidity as a character to play than Spider-Man. I'll definitely give her that. She's lacking the range. Are you kidding me? Okay, her special is some sort of swirly around you. The effects of the sorcerer's stone. Oh, is this one of these games that utilizes um, the, the gems? There's a lot going on. It is a pretty game, but I think maybe the overuse of Venom as an enemy comes across as a bit lazy. If, I, if this game zooms out in a second and I have to chase him up a bloody building, I'll be honest, I will feel a bit ch cheated. Okay, do you know what? I think the game may have marginally redeemed itself on the repetitive enemies. There you go. Brock, no more the Venom. So here we go. There you go, level completed. Fantastic, some sort of weird... And it gets some life back. Okay, I stand to reason I shouldn't have critiqued so early. I got a bit of life back. Okay, let's go. Let's check out what level two's got to offer. Okay, Green Goblin. Let's see how this stands up to the narrative flow. Is that the father? Oh. No, I'll be honest, this game's what this winning me over a little bit more, this game. Again, enemies are starting to feel a bit repetitive again. There's no denying it. Oh. Close in. Let's see if we can get that. Surrounding move in. Okay, the hit detection before that sweep does feel a little bit cheap. Let's have a look. I'm not sure about that weird noise. I'm not sure who popped that noise in and thought, yep, this is the 8-bit sound that we want for this. I do think this is an 8-bit game. I'm not 100%. It's quite sharp. It might even be a 16. You can't really compare console and arcade um, hardware. The way it's utilised differs so greatly. Okay, and the game is giving me fresh health packs. Do you know what? I may have been unduly harsh. I still believe the enemies are bloody repetitive. But there's no denying it. The game does look good, and it is giving me some health back, even in the smallest chunks. Okay. Maybe a few bonuses wouldn't hurt, though. I think our hero may be a bit in trouble now. 
Anyone else noticing I'm getting rather ganged up on here? Okay, is that the croc? Oh, lizard even. Oh, we never got to see the lizard man or what he's got on offer. I'm so sorry, but we are going to have to wind things up. This was Spider-Man, the video game, the arcade, here on Robbie's Arcade. If you enjoyed this or you want to see any further games, mate, if you want to see a full playthrough of this game, bung it in the comments. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. And don't forget, if you've got any other games you want to see, bung them down in the comments and let me know the games that you want to see here on Robbie's Arcade. Thanks for watching. That's weird.